It's just a smelly dump to you and me, but to these eagles, it's the land of opportunity. A scavenger's smorgasbord. Scraps, small birds, and rodents are all plentiful here, and that's why the trees around the landfill are overcrowded with eagles. Definitely in the last 10, 15 years, there is a lot more showing up. Um, like I say, the food sources here, AKA the dump and the transfer station, but there is also a lot of ducks in this area, which is a major flyway. When there are this many eagles, the photographers are sure to follow. So every time I come down here, I make sure I make a point of stopping and enjoying the beautiful area. And of course you can help, but notice all these eagles. They're just everywhere. They're gorgeous. Eagles are flocking to South Delta because food is so easy to find here, but there are plenty of hazards too. We're only a stone's throw from the South Fraser Perimeter Road. This eagle was flying low when it was hit by the antenna of a fast-moving car. That knocked the bird right out of the air. It was then hit and killed by another passing vehicle. It happens maybe two, three times a week, which is uh, it's too bad, but it, it, it's just it's life. That's the way it goes. The new perimeter road and nearby highway aren't the only threats to eagles here. Increased development has left fewer trees to perch in. That has led to an increase in electrocutions. There have already been six this year. Because there's not many perching areas in the uh, uh, local area here, they've turned to power lines because they're high and good vantage points. Um, so unfortunately, we have had a few that have been electrocuted. This bird was found at the dump with a broken wing. Owl staff are trying to nurse it back to health. If they're successful, the bird will be released into the wild. Wild. The definition of that word has definitely changed. Now it's a place where the biggest threats to eagles like this one are passing cars, power lines, and shrinking habitats. Jesse Johnston, CBC News, Delta.